Cancer has a raw, emotional connection for everyone. There are no simple answers when a loved one has been diagnosed. And I've heard it said that there's beauty in pain. Dan and Kelly were gracious enough to share the story of Kelly's diagnosis, how it changed their relationship, their perspective, and what they learned in the process of overcoming. Hi, I'm Dan, uh, fourth in brewing. I'm a streamer on Twitch, uh, also part-time marathoner, a dad, a husband. Uh, this is Kelly. Hi. <laughs> she, uh, we've been married now uh, almost five years, mm -hmm. coming up in October. Uh, I've been together about seven, right? Yeah, I can math, I'm good at math. Uh, Kelly was diagnosed in October of 2018 with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, went through chemotherapy, quite a bit of it, had a bone marrow transplant a little over two years now, and is in remission, and uh, actually just got her first round of immunizations today. Yay. That's all true. We have two daughters, 16 and 12. They're, they're good kids, and uh, they run sometimes too, slowly, what, like me. Um, well, I was feeling really uh, terrible. I had earlier in the year been diagnosed as being anemic and I had a fibroid in my uterus that was making me anemic. So we got that taken care of and I was starting to rebound and feel better. And then I did not follow up with my hematologist because I was like, I feel better. I'll just get back to work. And then I started to kind of decline and finally got in to see the hematologist and uh, we were waiting for my hemoglobin results and they were really it was 6.5 which is pretty low and it was like it might as well have been like this big on the screen and like her pager was going off and the phone was ringing and people were coming in she's like yeah that was all for you you need a transfusion and i'm like what is going on and i was there by myself because we just thought i was going to get like an iron infusion boost and that turned into my first transfusion bone marrow biopsy which came back like the preliminary results were leukemia. So she referred me to uh, Northwestern and I was admitted the next day and stayed there for 31 days for my initial round of chemo. So it was kind of long to kind of get di diagnosed and figure out what was going on. Yeah. So uh, leukemia, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, they actually help fund a lot of um, trials like medical trials and studies and we uh, one of our friends one of my close running friends actually was working for the leukemia and lymphoma society and would send us resources they they would help with you know if you needed getting to and from appointments they help with um like like chats like tonight i have a caregiver chat you can just get online and have like a chat with other people that are going through the same thing like it's a lot of support but they can also offer financial yeah, help. We got a lot of like, I think, emotional support from LLS um, and some of the volunteers that would come through. So it's also a good place to go just get to get information. Yes. When they didn't know, it, they didn't know for a while if I had leukemia or lymphoma, they kept changing their mind and mm -hmm. there's all different types of leukemia. And so that was a good place to go where you could get information about the different diseases as well. And yeah, they do offer a lot of financial support for people. If you are someplace like we're lucky that we live in Chicago and Northwestern's a great cancer hospital. So we're very lucky, but not everybody is. So they're good at helping you find uh, treatment as well. So. So Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, there are different ways you can support. Um, easiest way is to click on their website you unite uh if you have a family member that's participating in events like light the night or if they might be a runner uh participating with team and training and running a race you can support them uh, by donating to their efforts um you can volunteer for events as well you can volunteer to go to the hospitals to talk to patients um spreading that message too and helping spread the word uh specifically one of the things we're working on now is with, you know, ingredientology with Logan, with Kate, we're doing the Oktoberfest pretzel boxes and a portion of profits are going to go to uh, my team in training fundraising, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, we also have some lovely shirts uh, as well. Um, but reaching out, if you have people in the community that need support, a lot of times, even just, we had people through stream that would just 
tweet gifts like funny gifts and reminders and and our hashtag of fight kelly fight was kind of a rallying cry and if i knew it was a rough day i would ask folks to kind of share a little love and even even a little bit of love like that can be touching and can kind of help perk a patient up a little bit too um but but helping the leukemia the foma society like donating volunteering um taking up the cause kind of a thing like it, it, it's it's a hard blood cancers are rough like every three minutes someone in the u.s is diagnosed with a blood cancer and that's that's scary that's a lot there are moments in life that require people coming together to help someone stand or in dan's case run marathons we have the opportunity as a community to make a difference in the lives of people searching for ways to cope by participating in our Oktoberfest event, you are directly supporting Dan and Kelly, as well as families just like theirs. If you'd like more information about our project, go to ingredientology.org slash Oktoberfest. I hope you'll join us. Thank you.